In today's video, we're going to take a look at Triple M, and we're going to look at um, you know a couple decisions here. Now, first, if you look at a weekly chart, and say, "Wow, this is a bullish chart, a nice healthy pattern of higher highs and higher lows," but what's also happening here is that we have an extension of this major high to low swing and the 1618 extension comes in here at the recent highs and you also have another 1618 extension of this prior major swing so that stands as resistance so can you do anything with that well it all depends on the time frame that you're trading because if you look at the daily chart and say well you know I don't really see any strong reason to short this market but if you're trading the lower time frame chart, for example, if you look at a 30 minute chart and keeping in mind that we have two key extensions up at this last high, is there any reason to look at a short side or could you construct a short trade? And you can, and I'll show you why. First of all, you know, we hit resistance. We took out a prior swing low, at least on this time frame chart, and you had the moving average crossover to the downside. So that tells you that you can actually look at the sell side. And the way that we can do this at this point is we can take 100% of this prior rally swing and project it from the recent low. We can run the retracements of both of these swings. And then there's actually a 1618 extension of this high to this low. And that gives us a zone of resistance on this time frame chart that you can look at as a trade setup. It comes in from 191.51 area to 191.84. And let's say, you know, since we held this, if it had triggered an entry for you, according to your trigger chart, your risk is just clearly defined either above the high that was made prior to your sell trigger or above this zone, which is above 191.84. If this trade setup is going to play out, what can you expect from it? Well, you measure the low to the high and if this new bearish pattern from the recent highs that were made at the extensions is going to continue then you'd expect something like this okay you have the pullback to the resistance and then we would potentially extend to the downside and 188.53 would be your downside target okay so that's a trade setup but it's only going to fit certain traders if you're willing to look at trade setups that come in via a 30 minute chart, then these are parameters that you can actually work with.